to the channel. So I've been getting a lot of requests for actual bot uh, setup videos. So today um, I'm finally doing one for you guys and I have a phantom bot setup. So if you guys haven't yet, make sure to go follow our Instagram. Uh, make sure to go hit that subscribe button. It really, really helps me out. So I'm gonna take you guys right to the computer and we'll get started on this tutorial. So here we are everyone. Um, this is my current setup of Phantom. So I'm gonna kinda take you guys through. We're gonna do Foot Locker just as a test. Um, I think Foot is a pretty good one that you guys probably wanna see. And then I might run through Supreme when I'm done. So basically what I do when I first open up the bot, um, Foot Locker, one of the first stores on here, basically you can see all of the stores um, lined up on the Phantom desktop. And then region right here. So Foot Locker does have different regions. They have a US site, um, Canada, they have a Europe site, and then they also have Foot Locker Kids. So you wanna make sure you're selecting the correct region when setting up. Um, US is usually, that's what I select all the time. Most of you guys probably will too. And then right in here, actually where it says create task, you can either put a URL or you can put a SKU number. Um, I usually just put the SKU number because it's a lot easier. You can also paste in the actual URL of the product though. So that's kind of your first step. And then sizing. Right here, um, this is where you, if you wanna select like a specific size. So you can do clothing as well, like for Supreme. And then up here, you can just select whatever size you want. If you guys don't really um, want a specific size and you just want any size, you can go over here to multi-sizing and you can actually do this. So like this is, for example, this is what I do on foot sites. So I'll do 7.5, 8, 8.5. If I'm just want, if I want one of these three sizes, this is exactly how I'm gonna type it in. I'm gonna use a comma um, to actually separate the sizes. So quantity right here too. So I'm gonna just put in um, a fake skew for now. This was the um, GS, the Royal Toe skew. So I'm just gonna use this for example. It's not gonna find it or anything because that release is long over with. Um, and then right here, so quantity, this is basically how many um, tasks it's gonna make. So it, it's based on how many profiles you select though. So depending on what profiles you select, you, there's a button that where you can even select um, all profiles if you wanna use every single one. The quantity is gonna be one per profile. So say I'm using one profile, I'm gonna select this one right here. And say I want 10 on just this card. So I'm gonna have 10 quantity and then checkout mode. So um, for Foot Locker currently, um, they're recommending you use no pre-cart mode. It basically doesn't use as many cookies. Um, cookies is a whole nother thing that's kind of complicated with Phantom. You do have to get kind of used to um, generating cookies with Phantom. That's one thing that isn't my favorite about Phantom. Like some of the other bots, Cyber, it's auto-gen, so it's just built into the bot. You don't have to actually do anything. Um, but for some of these websites, you do actually have to generate cookies. And that could be a whole separate video, so I'm not gonna even get into that. And then they do recommend you use desktop mode right now. So desktop mode is basically um, in desktop format when you actually go on the site. They don't want, um, the other format is mobile because you can actually go on your phone and it's a little bit different view, um, but they recommend desktop mode as of now with no pre-cart. So this would be the two options you would want selected. I leave this section blank right here, this proxy section. Um, this is just a task specific proxy. So I'm gonna get into where you put all the proxies in later, but this is if you wanna assign just a specific proxy with a specific task. So if you have like certain proxies that are banned on say Yeezy Supply, but they work on Foot Locker and you wanna make sure that your um, Foot Locker task get a specific proxy, that's what this option would be for, but I, I do not use it. So I'm gonna make 10 tasks um, for this Foot Locker. You're going to see right here, they're all going to be on the same profile. Then I'm going to head over to my View Task tab up here on the top. So when I go right here, as you can see, we have 10 tasks, zero through nine. There's 10 tasks here. They all have um, the 7.5 through 8.5 sizing. Here's the SKU number and then the site and the profile. And then status is idle, of course, because we have not started them yet. So um, one thing that I do want to mention to you guys is when you go up here to Caption Manager, um, you're actually going to want to go down here and hit log in. So this is going to basically take you to Google and it's going to have you log into a Gmail account. I do always recommend recommend doing this um, just because if you're say running for easy supply they do have captchas 
um, and logging into a Gmail can actually let you bypass those captures. So if you're wondering what all of this is up here, this local harvesting, auto solving, this is basically where you can put in like an AYCD um, token and it will do auto um, solving for you for captures. I don't really use it on Phantom yet because the only thing that it's really good for could be um, Supreme as of now. So um, cookie harvester over here. This is basically where you generate cookies for these certain sites. So some sites need cookies, some sites don't, and Phantom has some sites that actually auto-gen for you. So they'll turn on like Easy Supply a little bit before the drop, and it will actually auto-gen cookies for you. But um, for some of the foot sites, like Foot Locker, Foot Action, Champs, East Bay, Kids Foot Locker, you're, and Finish Line, you're gonna have to auto-gen cookies. So like I said, I'm not gonna get into that. Um, you guys can figure out how to do that, or I can make a separate video on that if you guys are really interested in that because um, that's a whole nother five to ten minute video alone but that is where you go to make the cookies so one thing that I didn't really know when I first got Phantom was that when you um, exit out of the bot, it will actually delete all of your tasks. It will not save them. So I ran in the first few drops that I ran with Phantom, I actually did run into that as a problem because I would open my bot up, you know, 10 minutes before the drop and all of my tasks were gone that I made the night before. So make sure when you're doing this, um, you actually export your tasks. So you can actually hit export and you can save them in here as a file. It'll just save it as a JSON file, um, and then you can actually import them later. So you can actually do that with cookies as well. So I recommend exporting cookies when you're done generating them. And then you just go to import. So right as you open the bot back up, you'll come over here to the view task tab, and then you'll actually just hit import and say, I wanna import my Hibbit task. This is from last week, this is just an example. Um, I'll click that and it will actually import all of my Hibbit tasks down here for me. So really, kind of a pain that you have to do that. You have to export them every time. It's not that big of a deal though, so it really doesn't bother me too much. So profiles, this is the next tab over. This is actually where you're gonna go to make new profiles. So what you'll do is you'll start typing all your stuff in here, last name, address, so-and-so, um, phone number, emailing address, and then I always keep billing address the same, so I always check this. Um, you don't have to for certain sites, but I recommend doing it as you do have to for Supreme, so I automatically do it for my other sites as well. Um, and then payment information, this is where you'll put in your credit cards. Um, if you're using privacy cards, you can just switch you know, phone numbers, switch some stuff around. Um, I can actually do a video if you guys are interested in that. That will probably be a video after we hit 1,000 subscribers um, that actually shows you guys how to um, jig your address so you can um, run multiple tasks on sites and actually get multiple pairs with the same credit card. So. Moving on, when we get to the next tab, this is analytics. So this is where it's gonna basically show you a rundown of kind of what's going on with your product. So usually once I'm over here on view tasks and I start all of these tasks, I'm gonna go back to analytics and I'm gonna kind of watch this. So this kind of tells me what's happening with my orders, um, if any orders are getting through. This will show you actually the carded amount. So this number will start going up as more pairs are carded or more Supreme or whatever you're botting. And then this will be your checked out tab. So as soon as this number goes up, you've successfully checked out um, a product and it will show you, it'll actually pop up right down here on this line below and it will show you guys actually what you have checked out. But um, a lot of the times you'll get a lot of products carded and it won't actually end up checking any out. And sometimes I've even had um, this problem with Phantom and just Phantom to where it tells me um, one's checked out and I actually have it down here, but I do not get an order confirmation or a shipping or anything like that. Um, so they do do ghost orders every once in a while. I have that problem with Phantom. So moving on to the next and last tab, um, we have proxy tester. So Basically, this is where you put in your proxies and you can actually select a site. So say I wanna test my proxies on Yeezy Supply, what you'll do is you'll paste your proxy in in this format, it has to be in this format. Um, this is how whenever you gen proxies or buy proxies, this is how they should come anyway. So you shouldn't really have to put them in this format, they should already be in this format. Then what you'll do is you'll paste them in here and you'll hit test, um, and it's a pretty accurate proxy tester. Ghost um, does a pretty good job at that. 
um, for being pretty accurate. I still usually double check mine in um, Cyber just to make sure they're 100% working because Cyber uh, proxy tester is fantastic. Um, and then basically right here it'll show you, it'll pop up with all the proxies, it'll show you the result and if they're banned, if they're slow, whatever the case may be and you can hit remove bad and it'll actually remove all of your bad banned proxies. So um, that's the number one thing that I honestly recommend you guys check is your proxies. I used to have a lot of trouble with that um, because if your proxies are banned, you can't do anything. You're you're done, you're toast for the release, you can't get even on the website. So that's the number one thing that you guys have to make sure before you're actually going into a drop is make sure that your proxies are good and don't test them over and over because that can actually get them banned, but test them once before you put them in and then I would test them again right before the release just to make sure that you're all set and good to go. So going over here, um, this is one more, I still consider this a tab right here, this settings button, because this is super, super important. Um, this is actually gonna where you're gonna put your API to your webhook um, in the Discord in your link. So it basically sends you notifications. This isn't super important, this webhook, it's just kind of a nice feature to have. But this right here, guys, is very important, this retry and error delay. So a retry and error delay is pretty much, um, you, it's gonna be the error, it's gonna be how fast it retries and how fast it's refreshing the website. So if you're, usually for different websites, um, they recommend different retry and error delays. Usually for Supreme, it's a very low delay, like 500 milliseconds. Um, it's usually, that's a half a second, so that's extremely fast. And then usually foot sites, I put mine a little bit higher up, usually in the three to 5,000 range. Um, when I make in-depth guides for, for everyone watching, you guys, you'll actually see certain error retry delays that I try, but it's really good to experiment with these retry and error delays to see what kind of works best for you guys. Because sometimes if you put them too low, you'll actually get more decline. Sometimes if you put them too high, you won't get enough checkouts. So there's kind of a fine line that you just have to experiment with and uh, see what works for you best. So this right here, this is one of the most um, important boxes actually in this bot. And this is gonna be your proxy box. So this is actually where you're gonna copy and paste your proxies in. In that same format that I showed you guys earlier on the proxy tester, you'll paste them all in here and you wanna make sure to hit save after you paste them in or it will not save them. So just hit save um, and then they'll be stuck in here. These you won't need to actually come back and paste in every time. It'll actually save this even when you exit out the bot and you load it back up these should all still be in here so when you create your tasks you don't want to create I would say more than however many proxies so I basically go in from a one-to-one -one ratio some people will use like a one to two ratio so one proxy for every two tasks I do not I use one task for every proxy always no matter what just to be safe so I have 130 proxies loaded in here right now so I would not want to make more than 130 tasks on each website so say I'm running though Foot Locker East Bay foot action and champs, I can actually make um, four times this amount just because it's one per website. It's not one per proxy total. It's just one per website. So um, that was a little brief rundown of this. Um, I'm gonna show you Supreme just very brief and then we'll wrap this video up. But basically Supreme, right? You have your regions, US and Europe. I would hit US and then in here, you would actually do a keyword. So um, keywords are given out by the bot discords, usually a few hours before Ghost, Phantom, they actually tweet them out pretty slowly in the discord. So usually they give them to you like four or five hours before the drop. Cyber will give them to you the night before. Um, I usually just make my own because I've been doing this for a little while now to where I um, actually know kind of what to do with keywords. So say a box logo is dropping, I would do plus box comma plus logo and that would be my key keywords for that certain drop as long as no other box logo is dropping. Um, color, you can actually leave that blank if you're just going for random. Um, I believe you can type random in here too. Say it was blue, you would just type blue. And then same thing um, right here with 
quantity. Um, they have size locked right now. I don't know why, um, but this normally would be unlocked and you could actually choose a size if you wanted a specific size. Um, quantity, same thing how I mentioned earlier. This is, I'm going to make 10 tasks on this one profile right here. And then this box down here, it's called safe mode. I do recommend running safe mode um, because Supreme, basically what they did with their new bot protection, um, Warden, this is basically going to make it safe so it will stop you at the CAPTCHA bypass. Um, to make sure that you guys actually have a chance in getting these. So Supreme's really good too. Um, I recommend running that auto solve feature, that AYCD. Um, that's the auto solve feature that Supreme, it, it uses with Supreme very good. Um, you can actually log into a lot of CAPTCHA harvesters and basically bypass quite a few. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Um, if you did and you want more videos like that, please go leave a like down below um, and just comment. Let me know what you guys thought of it. And if there's certain stuff you guys want to see, just don't hesitate to go comment. Um, I really like making these videos for you guys. If you want to see um, any bots and specific setups like mech, cyber, I can do all those as well. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have a great rest of your day. Bye.